let's start a new chapter today called atoms molecules and stoichiometry this is the first video so we are going to cover the basics of this chapter so what are we going to cover in this chapter relative atomic mass relative isotopic mass relative molecular mass and relative formula mass so these are the four basics of this chapter so let's start with the atomic mass so relative atomic mass here comes the definition the mass of an atom of an element compared to the mass of 1 12th of the mass of an atom of carbon c12 so the important standard over here is 1 12th of the mass of carbon c12 now what is carbon 12 carbon 12 is an isotope of the element carbon there are three isotopes of carbon and we have considered the basic or the most ab abundant isotope which is carbon 12 now let me show you what is the meaning of 1 12th of the mass of one atom of carbon let's say this is an atom of carbon now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this atom of carbon into 12 equal parts now let me count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so now I have 12 equal parts then what I am going to do is take out one small piece of those 12 parts now this small piece is nothing but 1 12th of the mass of carbon 12 now this is the standard and we also know that mass of carbon is 12 amu AMU is atomic mass unit and we express most of the relative atomic masses in AMU so as we know that carbon has a mass 12 so 1 12th of 12 is nothing but 1 so what's our standard our standard is 1 amu the standard which says 1 12th of the mass of one atom of carbon 12 is nothing but 1 amu so let me write it for you 1 12th of 1 atom of c12 is nothing but 1 amu this is going to be our standard in calculation of relative atomic mass relative isotopic mass relative molecular mass and also relative formula mass this is going to be our standard now let's look at the formula of uh, the relative atomic mass the formula goes like this relative atomic mass is equal to mass of one atom of an element you have to put it on the top and then you divide it by 1 12th of the mass of one atom of c12 which is 1 amu i have already shown you then we can go for some examples for example hydrogen has atomic mass 1 amu oxygen has atomic mass 16 amu nitrogen has 14 carbon has 12 which we have already discussed now every time you don't need to calculate these at relative atomic masses you will get the relative atomic mass from the periodic table you can refer to it Alright, so these are the examples. 
now let's move on to the next topic so our next topic is relative isotopic mass this is almost the same as relative atomic mass the one difference here is instead of simple element we take isotopes as you know a single element can have multiple isotopes and each isotope will have different mass for example hydrogen has three isotopes one isotope has mass one another isotope has mass two and the third isotope has mass three so they all have different masses so the relative isotopic mass is going to be different for all the three isotopes but the relative atomic mass is going to be same for all all of them so that's the difference so for each individual isotope we calculate the isotopic mass the definition is also very simple almost the same as the previous definition that we did the mass of an atom of an isotope compared to the mass of 1 12th of the mass of an atom in carbon 12 and the formula is almost the same relative isotopic mass is equal to mass of one atom of an isotope divided by 1 12th of the mass of one atom of C12 very easy and I have already given you an example which is hydrogen which is having three isotopes and hydrogen 1 is called hydrogen hydrogen 2 is called deuterium and hydrogen 3 is called tritium similarly we can have another example wherein we have bromine bromine has two isotopes bromine 79 and bromine 81 chlorine has two isotopes chlorine 35 and chlorine 37 So these are few examples there are lots of more examples you can just go through your textbook or go through google and find them out let's go to the next topic that's relative molecular mass now in this case instead of the mass of an atom we take the mass of one molecule of that compound so the ratio of the average mass of one molecule of an element or compound to one twelfth of the mass of an atom of C12. The formula is also similar. Relative molecular mass is equal to mass of one molecule of an element divided by one twelfth of the mass of one atom of C12. So we have to learn how to calculate the mass of one molecule of an element so that you can plug it in in this formula and find out the relative molecular mass. Now under these examples I am going to show you how exactly to calculate the molecular mass and after calculation you will see that the molecular mass is nothing but the relative molecular mass because our standard is 1 amu. To calculate the molecular mass, we actually need to know the atomic masses or the relative atomic masses. So the first compound which I am going to take is CO2. Now to calculate the molecular mass of CO2, we need to know the relative atomic mass of carbon and relative atomic mass of oxygen. So let us list it out on this side. So carbon is 12 and oxygen is 16. Now what we are going to do is we will write it like this carbon plus 2 multiplied by oxygen. Why 2? Because here we have 2 subscript which means that there are 2 oxygen atoms. So I am going to multiply 2 with oxygen. Now replace the carbon by its atomic mass which is 12 and replace the oxygen by its atomic mass which is 16. I guess now it's easier for you to calculate just multiply and add them up and you get your molecular mass. Similarly we can go for water. So for water 
we have to know the atomic mass of hydrogen which is 1 and already we have the oxygen atomic mass so here we do 2 multiplied by uh, atomic mass of hydrogen plus 1 atom of oxygen so it's 2 multiplied by 1 plus 16 so just solve it multiply and add them up and you get the molecular mass of water now because the standard that we are taking for comparison is 1 amu which is the 1 12th of 1 atom of carbon 12 so these molecular masses which we are calculating is the same as the relative molecular mass because let's say we get 18 so if you multiply 2 multiplied by 1 is 2 plus 16 it gives you 18 so 18 is the molecular mass of water and to find out the relative molecular mass we do 18 divided by 1 12th of 1 atom of C12 is 1 so you get 18 so the relative molecular mass of water is also 18 so this is how you can calculate the molecular masses or relative molecular masses this is a very important calculation which you are going to use in stoichiometry more often so you can practice with a lot of molecules or compounds and you know master it so let's move on the last part of this video talks about uh, relative formula mass now what is the difference between the molecular mass and formula mass there is a single difference relative molecular mass or molecular mass is calculated for molecules of covalent compounds but formula mass is calculated for molecules of ionic compounds let's go for the definition and see how they are different the relative formula mass of an ionic compound or molecule is the ratio of sum of the atomic weights or atomic mass of the atoms in the formula of ionic compound and 1 12th of the mass of one atom of C12 let's not complicate it let's just directly look at the formula which is very very simple and similar to other formulas that we have learned today relative formula mass is equal to sum of the atomic masses of all elements in the ionic compound divided by 1 12th of the mass of one atom of C12 so in the numerator we are actually adding up all the atomic masses which are present in the ionic compound which we have done for the molecular mass also and we will be doing it the same way for ionic compounds also and then we divide it by the standard which is 1 amu now let's look for some examples to simplify it and to understand it better I'm going to take up a few examples first one calcium carbonate now for calculation of formula mass of calcium carbonate we need the atomic mass of calcium which is 40 carbon which is 12 oxygen which is 16 now same way we are going to plug in calcium plus carbon plus 3 multiplied by oxygen because we have a subscript 3 over here which means 3 atoms of oxygen now we will just replace these atoms by their atomic masses so 40 plus 12 plus 3 multiplied by 16 and just, just, just multiply and then add them up and then you get the formula mass and which is same as the relative formula mass as well because we have the standard one AMU same way we can do it for NaCl so you need sodium which is 23 chlorine which is 35.5 and we don't have any subscript so it's very very simple so we'll just add them directly 23 plus 35.5 and then you get the relative formula mass simple all right so so far we have almost covered all the topics which were supposed to be discussed in this video so let's quickly summarize it so what have we learned in this video so first we did atomic 
isotopic molecular and formula masses we did their definitions we also did the formulas which we are going to use and in all of them we used a standard which is 1 12th of the mass of one atom of c12 that was the most important part of it that's why uh, before every term we had relative because we had a standard so every calculation we have done was relative to the standard that's why we had a standard and all of them were called as relative i hope all these concepts that we have discussed are very much clear to you so what you can do is you can just try out these questions calculate the molecular masses of hno3 h2so4 agno3 list out the atomic masses of zinc vanadium manganese and iron you can refer to the periodic table for these examples or atomic masses and then finally find out three examples wherein you have elements having isotopes and just mention those isotopes along with their masses along with their isotopic masses all right thanks so much for watching this video 